Hello everyone and welcome back to Lounging with Lenny. My name is Lenny. Today I will show you how to make the best New York strip steak. So stay tuned and make sure to watch the video to the end. New York strip steak is a cut of beef from a short loin of a cow. It consists of a muscle that does a little work, making the meat tender. I got two thick New York strip steaks, about 22 ounces each, and the thickness is 2 inches. Transfer them into the sheet pan and pat dry it well with a paper towel. You don't want any moisture to be on the steak. This will help to develop the crust, tempering the heat, which helps the steak to cook evenly. With the dry surface of the meat, you get a sear, but not a steam. I will cook my New York strip steak in two stages. First, I will sear New York strip steak in the cast iron skillet. And then I will finish this beautiful New York strip steak in the oven. Turn on the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And now let's prep the steak. Generously season the steak with salt and black pepper from both sides. For this steak you don't need no fancy seasoning or any marinade. You don't even need to wrap it in a gold leaf as Sol Bay does. You don't impress people with the $24.99 gold leaves that you get on Amazon. You impress people with the flavors of your food. Simplicity is a key for this New York strip steak recipe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my new videos. Don't forget to season the top and the bottom as well. Collect all the seasonings from the pan, rubbing the steak over it. Take a cast iron skillet. Here is where you need to pay closer attention. Preheat it to smoking point where you will see the smoke coming out from the pan. Pour about 2 tablespoons of canola oil and transfer steaks in. Sear it on each side for 1 minute. It will create a nice crust, which occurs during the Meyer reaction. Meyer reaction is a chemical reaction that caramelizes the protein and sugar when you cook the meat, giving it a lot of flavors and color. Without Meyer reaction, you won't get delicious steak. Sear the sides as well for 30 seconds. Make sure to scoop out a couple tablespoons of oil before adding the butter. And add 3 tablespoons of unsalted butter. Couple strings of rosemary, couple strings of thyme, and 2 cloves of garlic. Slightly move the steaks to 12 o'clock of cast iron skillet. Tilt the skillets towards you, and with a spoon baste the steaks with butter from top to bottom. Put the herbs on top of the steak and pour it into preheated 425 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 5 minutes. Finishing the steak for 5 minutes in the oven will get you to perfect medium red temperature. But if you prefer your steak to be medium, cook it in the oven for additional 2 minutes. So my steak is 120 degrees. Transfer it into the sheet pan and the most important step, let it rest for 10 minutes. While the steak is resting, it will carry over cook. And if you like it well done, please have a stew. And I got a beautiful, great recipe for it. Come on guys, I'm just joking. But when you cook your steak well done, you are losing all the juices. And it will be more dry and chewy. And after 10 minutes, you can finally slice it. By the way, make sure not to slice it thin. Each slice should be approximately 1 fourth of an inch.
plate it and enjoy. You can season it a little with some salt and black pepper and that's all.